I'm gonna try and pull this. Again, we're four and a half weeks out from summer shredding. All right, conventional deadlift, guys. I personally do this, no shoes. And you'll be able to brace yourself. That way you can show off your sock game. Stance, about shoulder width apart. I like to put my hands at the beginning of the knurling. So hands, index finger at the beginning of the knurling. I like to push my knees out towards my arms and make sure that I'm engaging my glutes this way. So I'm not keeping my knees straight. They're actually being pushed out the entire time. Now, the biggest mistake that I see is a lot of people just do some weird movement at the beginning and they yank it. That's not what you want to do. You want to take your time at the very bottom, right? So when you take your time at the very bottom, it's going to look like this. I'm going to come down and get into position. And I'm like slightly pulling on the bar, but I'm really not trying to pull the slack. I'm just using it as leverage. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to pull the bar into you and see how I'm leaning back. Like I'm not here. The bar is really far away from me if I do this. If I lean back into it and I sit my hips back and I look up, my spine is neutral, 45 degree angle. My head is neutral in line with my spine. I'm looking forward. I'm not looking like this. I'm not looking down. Head is neutral. And when I'm down here, you want to pretend that you're breaking the bar outside. And what this is going to do is it's going to engage your lat. If you do this just sitting here, you will feel your lat engage. Same thing when I push my knees outwards, I feel my glutes engage. Now this is how it's going to look when you do the whole movement smoothly. Knees pushed out. Leverage the bar. Sit into your hips, break the bar. You see how my elbows turn out? And take a deep breath into your core. Now, a lot of people will just do this. That's not what you want to do. That is not how you build strength or muscle at all. Instead of just dropping the fucking weight like an asshole, you're going to control the negative and you're going to scrape the entire bar across your entire leg. It's going to hurt. You're going to leave some bruises but it's necessary in order if you want to build some strength and some muscle. So stop doing this. Instead, do this, engage everything, take your time, pull. And when you let go at the top, you should be squeezing your glutes. And then once you're ready to control the negative, scrape the bar across your entire leg. It's touching, it's still touching, it's still touching, controlling the negative, controlling the negative. It touched my shins the entire time. So now, this is what it's going to look like with two plates. I'm just going to do singles today. I'll call that shit. The reason why we don't have shoes is so we can effectively produce the right amount of force into the floor. You're only as strong as the force that you can push through the floor. So that's why we don't wear shoes. So I can grip the floor with my feet and make sure that my body is stable and I'm pushing through the floor. With two plates, it looks like this. So I start here, hands out. Leverage the bar, everything's neutral, bend the bar, deep breath, squeeze at the top, and control the negative, control the negative, everything is scraped. That felt easy, and that's how it should feel. You shouldn't be just, you shouldn't just slam it, it doesn't fucking make any sense. If you have an ego, you're going to slam it on the floor, and you're not going to build any muscle. Ask me how I know. I've been doing this shit for 12 years. Now, we'll see if I can pull three plates. I'm four and a half weeks out from my bodybuilding show. So my strength, my energy, and everything is super low. I'm at 1900 calories, just so you're fucking aware. And I'm trying to pull three plates for you, just so I could show you how to do this shit right. We'll see if this fucks up my prep. If it does, so be it. But I'm doing this for you guys. So you better fucking watch. So down here, grip the bar, grip the floor with your feet. Leverage the bar. Squeeze the glutes. Control, control, control. And I'm still talking. I'm still talking. Like that. There. We'll try four. We do four. Who knows? I'm gonna take a break. Or we can just keep going because adrenaline is high. We're just gonna keep sending it. I'm gonna take a quick break actually. Again, the biggest thing is you really need to take your time off the floor with conventional because once you rip it off the floor, a lot of people tend to round their back. And once you round your lower back, your form is entirely fucked. Bend the bar, make sure your glutes are engaged, grip the floor, 
make sure every box is checked before the weight ever leaves the floor. And when you're at the top, when you're locking out, there's a difference between locking out your hips and locking out your glutes. It's a requirement to lock out your hips for powerlifting, but for muscle and strength, it's not necessary to lock out your hips. Your hips are a joint. <laughs> they don't need to be locked out. They're a valuable asset. The more you lock out your hips, the more they can get fucked over time. Ask me how I know. So that's why instead of locking out your hips, you want to squeeze your glutes at the top without locking out your hips. And there's a very fine line and it requires a good mind muscle connection at the top, right? Let's say I'm locking out here. My glutes are squeezed, but my hips are not locked out. And this is exactly where I want to stop. This is my hips locked out. Now this gives you an extra what? 5% of contraction for your glutes, whatever. You don't need that extra 5%. You could stop here. My glutes are fully squeezed. Glutes are fully squeezed here. It doesn't make a difference if you lock out your hips. You see the difference? Glutes squeezed, glutes are still squeezed. But here, my glute, my hips are loose. So this prevents me from fucking up your hips, from getting any hip pain. If you have hip pain, doing deadlifts consistently like this, then you understand the struggle. I'm gonna try and pull this. Again, we're four and a half weeks out from summer shredding. I'm gonna see if I can pull four plates. If I can't do it conventional, I'll do it sumo. Let's put on some chalk. How about that? That might help. I haven't pulled this shit in a minute, bro. Checklist. Grip the floor. Leverage the bar. Knees out. That was okay. That was pretty solid. Actually, I'm pretty happy with that. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty solid. Good shit.